Good morning. For today's video, our topic is about greatest common factor. What is greatest common factor? Greatest common factor is used to express a fraction into its lowest term. 3 6 8 tenths and 6 ninths are fractions that are not expressed in lowest term. How will you know if the given fraction is in lowest term? Fractions are in lowest term if the numerator of the given fraction is 1. For example, 1 half, 1 fifth, 1 ninth. The numerator of the following fraction is 1. It means they are in lowest term. Another, fractions are in lowest term if the numerator and the denominator are consecutive. For example, 3 fourths, 8 ninths, 1 half. 3 and 4 are consecutive. 8 and 9 are also consecutive. 1 and 2 are consecutive. So it means that 3 fourths, 8 ninths, and 1 half are fractions that are in lowest term. But, if none of the two describes the condition of your given fraction, then you have to use the methods in finding the GCF or the greatest common factor. What are the methods in finding the GCF? First, we have the listing method. Second, we have the prime factorization method. And third, we have the continuous division method. First, listing method. List all factors of both the numerator and the denominator. For example, 6 ninths. What two number can we multiply that will give us a product of 6? So we can have 1 times 6. Another. 2 times 3 will give us 6. So the factors for 6 is 1, 2, 3, and 6. How about 9? What two numbers are we going to multiply that will give us a product of 9? So first, we can have 1 times 3. 9 and 3 times 3 will give us 9. So the factors for 9 is 1, 3, and 9. So now, what is the greatest common factor that we have for 6 and 9? So that is 3. So the greatest common factor 
for 6 and 9 is 3. Next, we have the prime factorization method. List down the prime factors of both the numerator and the denominator. First, what are the prime factors of 6? So we have 2 and 3. 1 and 6 is not considered as prime factors. Why? Because 6 is not a prime number. Instead, it is a composite number. Aside from that, 1 is not a prime number nor a composite number. It is a special number. The prime factors for 9 is 3 times 3. 1 and 9 is not also considered as prime factors because, again, 1 is a special number and 9 is a composite number. So what is the greatest common factor of 6 and 9 using the prime factorization method? The answer, 3. So the greatest common factor for 6 and 9 is 3. Then, continuous division method. Write both the numerator and denominator inside the division house. Divide them with a common prime number. If the numbers left have no more common factor, multiply all the prime factors which are used as divisors. For example, we have 6 and 9. 6 and 9 can be divided by 3. 6 divided by 3 will give us 2. 9 divided by 3 will give us 3. If you notice, there will be no, no more prime factors that we can use to divide 2 and 3 at the same time. So it means that the greatest common factor of 6 and 9 using continuous division method is 3. Always remember that the greatest common factor or GCF is used to express a fraction into its lowest term. Fractions are in lowest term if the numerator of the given fraction is 1. The numerator and the denominator are consecutive. The methods in finding the GCF are first, listing method. List all the factors of both the numerator and the denominator. Second, prime factorization method. List down the prime factors of both the numerator and the denominator. And last, Continuous division method. Write both the numerator and the denominator inside the division house. Divide them with a common prime number. If the numbers left have no more common factor, multiply all the prime factors which are used as divisors. Again, thanks for watching. Do not forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Bye!